Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you some very exciting nail mail that I got um, from one of my subscribers. So I got this package in the mail on Friday from my subscriber Mary Beth. She's so sweet you guys. Um, her and I have like formed a friendship and we just, we text all the time and we message each other and we talk about all kinds of things, you know, not necessarily just polish. A while back she sent me a couple texts about some glitters she was really interested in and I was like, oh, that's really pretty. And then she kind of was like, oh, well, I'll send you one. I bought more than one. And so she put together this whole package and it, you guys, it was just so sweet. It like really made my day, it really perked me up. We did a FaceTime so that I could open the package and um, it was just really fun. I really um, enjoyed getting to know her. She's a super sweetheart. And um, so thank you, Mary Beth. Um, this package made my day and I have just really, really enjoyed getting to know you. Um, we have a lot in common and it's just really fun. So the first thing in the package was this. Look at how pretty you guys. Oh, you know I love sparkle. And it's sort of like this really gorgeous um, rose gold glitter and it's a OPI makeup bag so cute I love a cute makeup bag so thank you so much for that and then on um, the polishes what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swatch them on the nail wheel for you and um, we'll just do that so I'm gonna go by brand she also put in a really sweet card which was so so nice um, and it has all kinds of like seashells and stuff which is fun I love the beach. If I could live on the beach, you guys, I so would. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go by brand. So the first brand I want to talk about that she sent me is Broadway Nails. These are usually found at like Dollar Generals. Um, two of the polishes are matte polishes, which are these two, and then this one says it's a gel strong. Um, so the first one I'm gonna talk about is called Dreamer. Look at this you guys this is a gorgeous kind of darker purple matte with a ton of like silver shimmer this looks really pretty in the bottle so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this on the nail wheel I actually have a couple of these matte polishes from the Broadway nails I don't have this one but I have like a maroonish type color that I picked up a while back and I think a grayish type color and they have a really 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 good formula for being a dollar um, so there's one coat of that so it's kind of hard to tell but it is definitely a tiny bit streaky so it does need two coats um, so I'm gonna go in for the second coat polish color is so pretty it's like perfect for um this time of the year the winter it's just a really really gorgeous deep purple so two coats definitely gets it opaque there it is at the two coats um i do think it's going to take a few minutes to kind of get the matte effect going because it does have to dry but if you see how it looks here wet that is pretty much how it would look if you applied a shiny top coat to it that's gorgeous you guys oh my goodness so pretty that is beautiful. I'm gonna have to add this brand to my random polish picks because I think I only have two and I don't know if I put this on there. I'm gonna have to see. And if I didn't, I'm gonna stick it in my little um, baggie of brands to pick from for the untried polish. So while that's drying, I'm gonna apply the next matte polish. Um, this one is called Glamorous and this is just a gorgeous turquoise. Look at that shimmer, you guys. I am a sucker for a turquoise or teal polish that looks so beautiful it just really says summer to me and I am so ready for summer I don't know about you guys but I am ready it like will not all I want is like one day where it's 45 degrees that's all I want so I can go outside and like not freeze but that hasn't that hasn't happened and that's it's not too much to ask I don't think <laughs> but um I am liking that it is staying light longer that's kind of like really nice for me because the darkness just getting dark so early really affects my mood so there is one coat of that um it is sheer and a little streaky not bad you know it's just not a two you know a one coat polish so you can't really tell on camera but it does need two coats so i'm gonna go in for that second coat and then hopefully the purple polish will be dry and we can kind of see how that looks matte. Oh yeah, that second coat really, really um, evens out and it also makes it like a tiny bit darker. 
So that is two coats of gl Glamorous. Oh, you guys, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. So that's kind of how that would look with a glossy top coat dying. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. And then this purple definitely appears to be dry. So there you can see how it looks matte. That's really, really pretty. Like for a dollar, these are gorgeous. So um, I'll show you this once it appears to be dry and matte. But I'm going to start swatching. Um, this one is called Ultra Violet. Look at this color, you guys. Oh my gosh, when I pulled this out of the package, I was just like, holy cow, this is beautiful. So it's a gorgeous purple with a ton of like, it has like a little bit of a pink color change and then it just has a lot of really beautiful shimmer. Yes, like this came out of the package and I was like, OMG, that's amazing. Um, So this polish is not matte. It just has a regular finish. Let's see how this one comes out. Oh my gosh, this is really, really, really pretty. It's a touch sheer, but um, I was kind of expecting that because you kind of need that shimmer to show through. And so the base does have to be, you know, a little sheer for that to happen. Um, so that is one coat of Ultra Violet. Look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Like for a dollar, oh my gosh. I would pay $10 for that. So pretty. So I definitely think this one could end up being a three coater, but it's so pretty like I don't even care. The second coat is not going to make this one opaque. It's going to be a three coater. Look at that though. Oh, so, so pretty. So this one looks a lot more matte now. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that perfect for like fall and winter? And then um, this one is looking matte. God, that is gorgeous. This color is so pretty, you guys. And then um, I'm going to apply the third coat on this just so you can see what it looks like. So three coats looks like it's going to do it um, and get it opaque. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty, you guys. Look at that. Oh, I cannot wait to try that. So pretty. The next polish I want to talk about, she's so funny. So she watched one of my videos where I was like, can you believe I don't have simple colors? Let's talk. So she sent me Simple Colors, let's talk. I am super excited, you guys. When I saw this on Claire Gray's video, I was just like, how have I not owned this polish? And um, I'm super, super excited to try this. Oh my gosh. I don't wear a ton of like straight pure purples. I'm more of a like purpley pink type person. But um, this looks really, really pretty. So the first coat is kind of uneven and sheer, not horrible, but look at that purple, O-M-G. Oh, so pretty. Claire Gray put this on her nails and I was just like, how do you not own this? Where have you been? What kind of polish crazy lady are you? Like, this is a super old simple colors. Like the fact that I don't have it is shocking to me. So I definitely think this one will get opaque in two coats. Um, it's kind of self-leveling a little bit now that it's been there for a minute on the nail wheel. So the second coat is, yeah, this is going to be a two coater for sure. Oh my goodness. This is so like just rich and beautiful. And it reminds me of like, like the kinds of colors that like, like royalty wears. Oh, so, so deep. And look at that. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Man, if you all have this, you need to wear it. Look at it. It has like a little bit of a pink flash in there. So pretty. Oh, Sint, let's talk from Simple Colors. Um, And then she sent me a bunch of OPI polishes from the new Tokyo collection. So oh, look at these, you guys. This just makes me want spring and summer even more. These colors are gorgeous. Um, So the first one I'm going to show you is going to be the pink. And this is called All Your Dreams in Vending Machines. Look at how glowy that looks. This is so beautiful. You guys know I love a good pink. So this has like a touch of like a purpley or bluish flash in it. Um, I am expecting this to be a tiny bit sheer, but let's see. Oh, no, no, this isn't too bad actually. It's very juicy looking. Oh my goodness. So, so, so pretty. It's very juicy looking. This is so pretty, you guys. Um, 
So this is one coat. It definitely is looking more opaque on camera than it is. Um, this is going to be a two or three quarter for sure, but look at that color. Oh my goodness. I like these type of like um, luster sheen type polishes every once in a while. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like stuff that was popular in the 80s. And I I love the 80s, you guys. So <laughs> oh, yeah, two coats um, deepens the color and makes it look, you know, a little more just it's very juicy looking it's super pretty so that is two coats look at that oh so just so glowy i'm in love with that color these two together would be like a very gorgeous glowy um manicure together i feel like that's really pretty um so i'm only going to show you two coats and again that was called all your dreams in vending machines gorgeous um, then the next one I want to talk about is called how does your Zen garden grow and this is a very light um, Springtime green. I love this type of green sort of like a pistachio type color Especially in the spring and in the summer. It's just really fun. It pops off the nail. I think um, These type of colors are really pretty and she Mary Beth I think swatched this already and she did tell me that it had a very nice formula So that's always good Sometimes these lighter colors, like, the formula is horrible. Ooh. Man, that's like, that's great coverage on that first coat. Look at this. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am in love with that green. I feel like I need to show it to you over here. That color is gorgeous. It is very pistachio-y to me. That is kind of what it is reminding me of. This kind of reminded me of an Essie I have. I'm actually going to show it to you guys on the nail feel by each other. This is Going Guru from... It was a spring collection, I want to say maybe two or three years ago. So once I finish with the OPI, I will swatch that right next to it so you can see in case you have that polish. But I definitely think this OPI formula is going to be better. Because this is going to be a two-coater. Um... That second coat and first coat just go on so smooth and creamy, not streaky, not chalky. Not any typical problem you have with these really, really light polishes. Just, it goes on like butter. Oh, I'm in love with this polish. I need spring to be here like right now because I need to wear this. I even think this would be a beautiful pedicure in the summer. Like once you're a little bit tanner, that would really pop off the nails tanner more tan i don't know but look at that oh so pretty so let me swatch this essie right next to it just so you guys can see for a comparison because because they do remind me of each other of course this one has this older thin essie brush so if this had a better brush the formula might not feel so bad but it doesn't so Oh, I was way off on my assessment of this, I think. So that's one coat of the Going Guru. Um, this has more white in it, I think. But let me add that second coat because maybe it'll darken it up. So this Essie is probably like a three-coater. Um, on a real nail. And yeah, I was way off on that, actually. They're not as close as I thought they were going to be can see this is like more yellow toned this has more white in it if you're not a crazy person like I am you don't need both probably um, if you are a crazy person like I am they are not the same color and I'll even show you in the bottle let me shake this one up it's kind of ugly um let me show you in the bottle too just so you can see in the bottle they look really close on the nail um I'm gonna call it a no as being a um, dupe. That's like the best there of what they look like to me. And then the next two that she picked up for me are the two teals. Um, I did want both. They look very close in the bottle. Well, the names on these, I just, I don't know. Um, I feel like they're a little bit stereotypical. I know it's supposed to be fun and all, but some of these names to me were just a little bit like they could have done something different with them. Um, that's just my opinion. But um, this is Suzy Sun Climbs Fuji Sun. This was one of the names I'm a little... Mm, I just don't know how I feel about it. Um, and then this one over here is called I'm on a Sushi Roll. 
So I knew for sure I did want both of these. They look very similar in the bottles, but this has more of a blue lean and this has more of a green lean. They are extremely close, but um, they are different. So I'm gonna swatch these side by side just so we can kind of see how close they really are looking. This is Suzy Sun, Climbs Fuji Sun first. So, oh, this is a beautiful color, oh my goodness. I really, really am into these turquoises, you guys, and this is beautiful. This has a very nice formula. It goes on very smooth. I think this could be very close to a one coater. Oh, that color. Look at that color, you guys. Oh, so beautiful. I really love that. Man, that's gorgeous. I'm going to leave that at one coat because I feel like on this a nail wheel, that's pretty much opaque um and then next up i'm going to put on i'm on a sushi roll formula on this is also really really nice um on here i also think this could be a one coater and i'm gonna leave it at one coat that is also a very very beautiful color oh man these are gorgeous you guys so as you can see here um they are two different shades. They are extremely similar, but, you know, one leans more blue, one leans more green. Oh, man, that is, those are beautiful. I'm glad I, I'm glad she sent both. I feel they're different enough for me to have both. Look at how ready for spring I am with all these beautiful polishes. Oh, my gosh, I'm dying. It needs to warm up. Um, and then the last two polishes she sent are glitters. Um, this is from China Glaze. This is called Point Me to the Party. This came out in a rave collection they did. Um, this was the only glitter from the collection I was not able to find. And um, I did want it. I was very interested in it. So I'm glad she sent it over. It does look like some of the glitter has bled into the base on this. So the base has a touch of like a pinky or orangey tint to it. So I'll have to definitely see how that's going to work for what I put it over. But what I'm going to do now is put it over... Um, I'm going to put it over the OPI How Does Your Zen Garden Grow um, just to see how it looks there. The base definitely does have a slight tint to it and it is changing um, it is changing the base color a tiny bit. So this definitely has like the party in the bottle feel which I do love um, and I didn't even tell you what was in here. So there's a mix of like neon glitters. There's orange, pink, purple, green, um varying sizes for the most part they appear to be matte um and i do believe this base was supposed to be clear but it has um there is a glitter in there that's bleeding a little bit of color off i think but look how fun that is that is fun you guys oh my gosh i am really loving that big time i don't think that the base is tinted enough that it's um like you could wear this over like a white or a yellow or you know because it does change it a tiny bit but it's not horrible like I was expecting it to be oh that's so fun I can't wait to wear that in the summer so pretty and that again was called um point me to the party the other glitter she sent I think is going to be extremely versatile so this is um from paparazzi this is a cvs exclusive brand if you've never heard of it and this is called yin meets yang and this is a bunch of black and white matte glitters in a clear base this looks so fun um so i'm going to top this over um the going guru from se and then i'll also go ahead and put it over um suzy sun climbs fuji sun just so you guys can see but i would wear this over pretty much anything um i think over neons in the summer this is going to be amazing i think over pastels this is going to be amazing in the spring um polishes like this just make everything more interesting and um super super just versatile i think so let me go ahead and see how this goes uh this has excellent glitter payoff um, it's not base heavy the glitters just come out you don't really have to like you know manipulate or fish or anything which is awesome 
This is really fun, just like I was expecting it to be. So I don't know if this is available at CVS anymore. Um, I know, I think she told me she bought this off like eBay, so it may not be at CVS. You may have to pick it up on eBay, but this is really, really cute, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, so there it is over um, Going Guru. Look how fun. The white glitters are getting washed out by the camera a tiny bit, but it is a good mix of white and black um it's just kind of getting washed out on the camera a little bit on this one you can see it a tiny bit better i think look how cute oh that's so cute i can't wait to put this over like everything once the summer comes and once um spring comes because it's just really fun i want to try this over a neon for you guys so let me i'm going to put flip flop fantasy on the nail wheel just because these are so fun over neons, I have to show you that dry for a minute. See how cute all of these polishes are, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's just so sweet. Like, so, so sweet. Um, So I have two coats of Flip Flop Fantasy on the nail hill right now. I'm going to hold it way back here. So that you can see. Um, I will take a picture of this nail wheel as well. Just because I feel like getting in close, you'll get a better idea of how really cute those glitters are. Oh my gosh, adorable total adorableness um so you're probably not going to see it too too well but that is one swipe of the glitter over flip flop fantasy look how fun oh my gosh so fun um these are fully matte now so let me just flash those to you guys real quick i am in love with this one so bad so bad um so i'll take a close-up of the nail wheel just so you guys can really like get in there and check out those glitters see what they look like um, so that is it. That's all the nail mail I received from Mary Beth. Um, Mary Beth, thank you so, so much. Um, like, I, you have no idea how excited and how happy all of this nail mail made me. Um, super sweet. I also love my little glitter bag. Um, I have enjoyed getting to know you so much. Um, that is one thing, like I've told you guys before, the nail polish community is just amazing. Like, there's the sweetest, sweetest women, um, and they're just so so positive like everyone's super positive everybody's super nice um you guys have just been amazing and i want to say thank you and i appreciate it and um that's it make sure to keep an eye out on instagram for swatches of these because i definitely want to get these worn even though they're not seasonally appropriate during my untried opis i am actually debating between um wearing one of these two next just because i have to i love these types of colors um i know it's january but these make me happy right now So keep an eye out for swatches of those. Hopefully I'll get to those during the last week of the untried OPIs. So if you like this video, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.